Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Are you ready for the word? Kabla sio vile ningependa tu kuambia mercy as mame tu. Mercy na jua sio mgeni mlikuwa na hiyo mapili lakini vizuri tu appreciate as mame tu awe vie ama wakaribisha au kwa ibada ya pili. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Nisalimie katika hewa. Nisalimie wacha kuniambia kwa heri bando. Unanifukuza masaa bana ndio tutaka tutapambana hiyo masaa yengine, si ndio? Nisalimie tu vizuri. Amen. Alafu kwa sababu sitafikia kila mtu na maybe kuna mwingine ataondoka after this service. Just shake the hand of your neighbor. Shake the hand of your neighbor. Mwambie Pastor Masi amekusalimia sana. Asanteni hata kwa kujitolea wiki nzima. Tumekuwa na nyinyi kutoka Sunday to the Revivals na mumekuwa watu wa maana kwangu. Amen. Ninawapenda. Second service, siuvumilie tu kwa sababu wewe haukuja hiyo wiki, si ndio? Si leo ujikaze useme hata baada ya first service I am not going anywhere because I know you are not going anywhere. Unaenda tu kwa nyumba kukula chai, kukula chakula. Sasa amua second service, I'm not going. I want to preach to you. I have missed you. Mwenye huku kuja hii wiki. Si tuongee second service, si ndio? Ninawapenda and I'm expecting to see these faces. Nimewamaa. Naona vile kameshika. Bishop hata ukienda chini, hii viti ni hivi. Wale wanakuja wengine watakaa huku. Eh, hey, kwa hivyo kabakie kameshika hivyo. Tunawapenda. Thank you Bishop also for having me the whole week. You have been a blessing to me and mom and the leaders of the church and all the people of this church. You are good people. And we love you with the love of God. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Kuna mtu wali nipigia simu ni kuambie. Masi. Na kuwata kwa kipini. Na ambie, what is the name of that lady? She's in my church. We are never masi. We are. Amen. Now you are this man a lot of people who see different things. powerful. imebarikiwa matiti ambayo ulinyonya Hamjaisoma <laughs> kwa Biblia hiyo Kaambia amebarikiwa Matiti ambayo ulinyonya imebarikiwa Yesu alikuwa tu mama yake Yesu tu Yesu alikuwa na huyu anabebarikiwa kumbe anafikiria yule mama alilee huyu mtoto Huyo mama amebarikiwa I think she meant huyo mama amebarikiwa well, I want to share with you very shortly. Then, nitawapea na pasi ndi otuweze kuwa na wakati mzuri wa kusikia neno la mungu kubitia kwa mtumishu wake. But kwa sababu ya di otunaanza mwaka na kama mchungaji wa kanisa tulikubaliana na masi maana sita kuwa hapa jumapili kuna kanisa yetu nitakuwa na ubidi jumapili Ndiyo mana ni mesema mama ndiyo atakuwa maali hapa. So ni kamambia ni sipo ubidi ni ta mwaka utaenda kabla siya ungea na watu. Ya wapatia mwelekeo. Kuna wale wakua hapa last. Kabla tuja puka mwaka. Wana sifiwe. Juma apile siku pata na pasi. Tulikuwa na masi. So we agreed. I talk to you. So that she may speak to us in second service. Kwa nesu wa sifiwe. Are we together? Kwa hivyo kama ulikuja because people uja kanisani kwa sababu tofauti. Si nimewaambia hivyo. Kama ulikuja kwa sababu ulialikwa na mmoja wetu ama uliona masi akihubiri na ndio maana umekuja kwa ibada eh, don't give up. Bado masi atahubiri na utamsikia ibada ya pili. Bwana asifiwe. Well, I want to speak about eh, eh, when do we fast? sababu ni wakati wa mfungo but eh, kabla sija ubiri ningependa kuwakumbusha kwamba mwaka huu eh, kama vile akibishop wetu alituambia na alitupatia mwelekeo kwamba mwaka huu ni mwaka 
wajubili kwa huduma ya ridhi bwana asifiwe na kwa nini jubili ni kwa sababu eh, redeemed ilizaliwa 1974 na this is our 50th year as redeemed so it is our year of jubilee and uh, tukasoma Leviticus chapter 25 ndio tunaelewa what is jubilee jubilee ni mwaka wa hamsini baada ya miaka saba mara saba bwana asifiwe sana kama vile mnachua eh siku ya saba ni siku ya pumziko in the bible okay are we together we be mkono kama tuko pamoja i want to explain to you why to believe siku ya saba god worked for six days and they rested in the seventh day na akai consecrate na akai weka kando akai set apart kama ndio siku ya kupumzika Amen. So akamwambia Musa, waambie watu watakuwa wanalima. Watakuwa wana wanalima, wanafanya kazi kwa siku kwa miaka saba miaka sita Lakini mwaka wa saba itakuwa ni mwaka wa kupumzika spasfo itakuwa ni mwaka wa sabato mwaka wa kupumzika amen are we together so akawaambia mtapumzika mara saba kila mwaka wa saba So you be counting after six years hakuna kulima hakuna kufanya nini hiyo mwaka mnapumzika wakamuliza na tutakula nini mwaka wa saba akawaambia atawabariki mara ndufu mwaka wa sita hiyo mwaka wa saba wasikose chakula Bwana asifiwe So after every seven years every six years they were supposed to rest another seven years they rest another six years the saba they rest another six years the saba they rest amen seven times how many years are those 49 So was there 49. So mwaka wa 50th year akawaambia hiyo ni mwaka wa jubilee. Ni mwaka wa kupumzika. Na kama uliuza shamba yako kwa sababu ya mashida unarudishiwa. Ni mwaka wa kurudishiwa mtu kila kitu ambacho alipotesa. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Kama ulikuwa umechukuliwa, umekuwa mateka, umekuwa slaves, you know those days they used to have slaves. Kama umekuwa slave, unakuwa slave lakini nobody is supposed to be a slave in the year of jubilee. Say my men nzuri. All the slaves they are set free in the year of jubilee inaitwa mwaka uliokubalika kwa Bwana. Soma I think it's the book of Isaiah chapter 60. 60 or 61. Inasema the spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal the sick, eh, to deliver those who are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord.
That is why wokofu ndio mwaka wetu wa jubilee. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ya. Ya. Teremja chini. Angalia hapo the acceptable year of the Lord. Sit fast three of us what? Yeah. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those who mourn. It is the year of the Lord. So we are in the year of the Lord in Jubilee. One as a special. I say we are year of the Lord in Ju in redeemed. We are in the year of the Lord. Nobody is allowed to be to remain a captive. Kama ulipoteza kitu, unastahili ulegeshewe kila kitu ambacho ulipoteza. Bwana asifiwe. Unastahili Bwana akupatie akulishe mwaka huu kwa sababu ni mwaka wetu wa jubilee kama kanisa ya redeemed. Sema amen. Tell somebody it is our year of jubilee. Amen. And now you know why. Now you know. It's because it is our 50th year since redeemed was born. So, tarajia kwa jiliwa, tarajia urejesho, tarajia wana kupatie pumziko, na utarajie bwana aweze kukutana na mahitaji yako kama mtoto wa redeemed kama mvuas wa bishop kitonga tarajia kama vile anaingia kwa pumziko kwa 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 kwa, kwa pumziko anaingia kwa jubilee kama mwanzilishi wa redeemed na sisi kama wana wa redeemed we partake in the same grace Somebody say amen. So, Sema Kwasao, this is my year of Jubilee. On top of that, Iliwambia Nilipo Kwa Nikiomba. No, I was, I was, I was coming to, uh, to church. Unajua, when you got the instruction, direction from the archbishop, you could not come up with your own things. Amen. Yeah. You know, it's like it's the it's the pastor of this church. Nikimaliza kuvida usiri kuongezi akidu. Ati yebu tu fungu apa tuone kuna kamustari ata nata kutili amukazo apana. That is in display. Wale mu mesoma mu najua ibo. That is in display. The omana. Raisi ya kimaliza kuongea, unasikianga, what follows next ni nini? Wimbo wa nini? Wataifa. Hakuna ja, hata kama ulisaulika huku ongea, kwa bati mbala, utaongea next time. You don't stand that they say, I must greet the people. Roa nazema ni salimia watu. <laughs> so, now that the senior bishop ametupatia mwelekeo, do I need now to, to begin to come up with my own word? No. That is in discipline. Amen. But when I was coming, on top of that, what you believe will mean to you, it will be a year of great grace. Amen. And great grace and you believe there is no difference. Because it is the great grace ambayo inasababisha unatembea katika jubilee. Kwa naezo asifesa. Hallelujah. So it makes no difference. Kwa hivyo, eh, but now, that was a prophetic word. Somebody say a prophetic word. Now there is a difference between a prophetic word 
under the direction of the ministry. Amen. Now we have the direction of the Lord for this ministry. Because, for example, at the government in Mwaka or Jubilee, in the Kwa Mungu and Asema, in Mwaka or Jubilee, Mwaka Undo Mutajenga Kanisa. Okay? That is a specific God's direction for that particular congregation. Are we together? Amen. So, uh, sometimes back last year, I began to feel in my spirit, Kwamba, uh, Kama Kanisa, Mwaka Hu, to our greatest embassies will be winning souls. Itakuwa kupanya mikutano ya kushet. Mikutano ya openea. Itakuwa ni mwaka wetu wa evangelism. Kwa na shesa. Our embassies, our direction as the church, this year will emphasize, will put our effort more in the area of evangelism. To assemble amen. So I want you to pray with us and uh, this is our year of evangelism. So we'll be having so many meetings. Zauko inche tungependa kuwahomba tabadhali mukaweze participate, muka support when we call for an evangelism meeting open air crusade tunaomba mukaweze kupatikana. Mwambie mtu hili mwaka wetu wa kukuna nafsi. Si umambia vizuri di asikia. Si umesikia mama mwenye wa metuanzisia. Hata si jamuambia. Mwene mwenye wetu. Ametuambia meleta sofa. Ameleta watu wangapi sasa. Three people in the church. Na kuna mwengine ni mesikia kinaambia na muleta. That is how God confirms things. Amen. Na wewe pia utapata neeme ya kuleta watu kanisani. Kwa hivyo muambia buwana kupatie neema ya kukuatwa na watu. Neeme akusikizwa na watu na neeme akupata kibali mbele ya watu. That you can ukikaribisha watu kanisani. Wengine wanakuambia by the way, bwana hajawahi kunialika kanisani kwenu. Usingoje sasa, ujue ni roho anaongea. Sema amen. Tuko pamoja. Tuko pamoja. Funga mkono kama tuko pamoja. Mwambie jirani yako mwaka huu ni mwaka wa nini kwa hii kanisa? Ebu sema kwa sauti. Sema kwa sauti. Sema huu ni mwaka wetu wa kufuna nafsi katika hii kanisa. Sema tunatangaza mwaka huu ni mwaka wetu wa kufuna nafsi. Inua mkono mbele za Bwana. Mwambie Bwana nipatie neema ya kufuna nafsi kwa hii mwaka nipatie uweza neema kibali nikalete mtu kwa hii kanisa katika jina la Yesu sema bwana wale wote ambao wananipatia kwa hii kanisa kuwapatie neema ya kukaa ya kudumu ya kutulia ya kubarikiwa ya kuinuliwa kwa hii kanisa katika jina la Yesu. Hinua mkono sema Bwana, nipatie neema. Nipatie neema ya kukaa, ya kudumu, ya kutulia, ya kuwa na mazao, ya kubarikiwa, ya kuinuliwa kwa hii kanisa. Nipatie neema ya kushinda vikwazo na majaribu ya kunitoa kwa hii kanisa. Kwa jina la Yesu nifanye kuwa nguzo kwa hii kanisa nifanye kuwa mtoto kwa hii kanisa nifanye kuwa mwanafunzi kwa hii kanisa katika jina la Yesu nipatie neema ya kutulia kufundishwa kwa hii kanisa kwa jina la Yesu naomba unibariki na fedha na mali nikatumike kwa hii kanisa 
kwa jina la Yesu pigia bwana Yesu makofi nasema pigia bwana Yesu makofi vizuri amen glory to god i want us to uh, now to go to the word of god i'm speaking to you about why do we pray and fast why pray and fast why pray and fast why pray and fast why pray and fast kwa nini kuomba chapter 4 chapter 4 verse 1 Are you there? And Jesus, being full of the of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And those days he did not eat anything. And when he were ended, afterwards he Anchor. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it may remain bread. And Jesus answered him and said, It is written that man shall not eat, live on bread alone, but by every word that do. By, by every word of God. Father, I thank you for your word. I pray that you open up our understanding to receive this word. Open up our hearts to receive this word. Open our eyes to see this word. Cause us, Father, to hear your voice. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind every spirit that is against the preaching of this word. I rebuke it in the name of the Lord. I bind every evil in a negative power, fighting against the preaching of the word of God, calls us to receive, to understand, to practice, and to be blessed through this word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody say amen. I want to speak about why do we pray and fast. Why do we pray and fast? When we pray and the fast. Amen. Number one, we pray and the fast. The reason why we pray and the fast is because we are seeking God's supernatural intervention in our lives. Seeking God's supernatural intervention in our life tunataputa bwana kuingilia katikati ya mambo yetu tunatafuta bwana akaweze kuingilia katikati prayer and fasting causes god forces god to intervene to intervene to intervene in our lives how many of you like God to intervene in their lives? Ungependa mungu ingilie kati kwa mba yako fulani. Unga mkono vizuri. Ungependa mungu ingilie kati. Unga mkono wako vizuri kama ungependa mungu ingilie kati kati. Amen. Asas, ungesuma watu wazie mbele. Amen. Asas. 
nasi zaji pada watu wa mtie mbele kabisa tukiendaga nyuma na watu wana makosa ni wewe uko na makosa hasi mtu akiingia watu wakae viti za mbele wote pale wa nyuma wakae uko nyuma tuwapigie makofi wa number T wote to occupy the first three four rows super natural intervention in our life fasting releases god to intervene in our life sema fasting releases god to intervene in my situation sema fasting evokes god to intervene in my life say every time i pray and the fast god intervenes in my situation say like you believe every time i pray and fast god will intervene in my situation somebody say amen yeah never forget that people can say whatever they want to say at all at lazimishi mungu mimi i don't care whether ni kumlazimisha ama ni kumsababisha ama whatever it is what i know is that fasting causes god forces god empowers god enables god to intervene in my situation somebody say amen and i have got several examples in the bible wakati Esther aliomba siku tatu na kufunga Mungu aliingilia Mungu aliingilia na mipango ya Aman ambayo alikuwa amepanga ya kuangamiza Bwana akaipangua Kwa hivyo ninatangaza kwamba tunapoomba mipango yote ya shetani amba amepanga kuhusu maisha yako watoto wako biashara yako kazi yako hii ni mwezi ambao inaenda kupanguliwa katika jina la Yesu Bwana anaenda kuipangua nasema Bwana ataenda kuipangua maana Mungu wa Esther ndio Mungu wako So I declare that every evil plan of the enemy is planning against you is hereby cancelled nullified destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Because we know the power of prayer and fasting we know what the prayer and the fasting can do Prayer and the fasting cancels the plans of the enemy so all the plans of the enemy concerning your life are going to be cancelled as you engage in prayer and fasting this man in Jesus mighty name it does that so fana na biti fana bila kuongopa fana bila kufurahisha bishop fana ukijua kwamba it is going to work for your benefit mwaka huu ajali zote tuna cancel kwa hii maombi kufutwa kazi yote tuna cancel kwa hii maombi sema amen mzuri sema amen mzuri biashara kuanguka tuna cancel kwa hii maombi nothing the devil has planned concerning your life is going to remain standing after these prayers in the mighty name of Jesus we are praying by faith because prayer and the fasting is an act of faith we are believing god hallelujah we are doing what believing god that as we pray and the fast we are believing god hiyo kazi utapata 
tunaamini Mungu milango ya kuolewa inafunguka tunaamini Mungu kwamba promotion inaachiliwa tunaamini Mungu kwamba biashara itainuka tunaamini Mungu kwamba watoto watabadilika tunaamini Mungu kwamba hiyo mlango itafunguka so we are not just praying and fasting we are doing it by faith and we believe that it will happen in the name of Jesus i say it will happen in the name of Jesus it will happen in the name of Jesus it will happen in the name of Jesus shout a big amen shout yes it will happen because we are doing it by faith amen what about uh daniel aliposoma maandiko akapata maandiko inasema kwamba after 70 years their captivity will be broken something always happens number 7 is a special number for god ndio hata mandakitari wanakupatanga antibiotics za kunywa siku ngapi saba na ikikataa wanakuongezea siku ngapi zingine na ikikataa hakuna siku at 22 ah saba 21 28 because Number 7 is a special number of God. Always something always happens after every 7 years. Ni mwaka ni namba ya Mungu. Ndio maana pia aliwaambia baada ya miaka 7, miaka 6 mwaka wa 7 mnapumzika. Maana namba 7 ni ya Mungu. Bwana asifiwe hata wale wa bibi unasikia anga wakwambia utizeme chini ya Yesu mara ngapi? Sio mara tano mara ngapi? <laughs> Because something happens at number 7. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time baada ya miaka saba, tarajia kitu kwa ndoa yako mwaka wa saba itendeke kitu mzuri. Ukifikisha miaka saba, tarajia kitu itendeke. Bwana za siwe sana. Hallelujah. Hata wale ambao tulisoma kitambo tulikuwa tunaenda class 1 mwaka wa 7. Wachana hii ikuja juice. Maana kuna kitu utendeka mwaka wa 7. Kwa hivyo kama huu ni mwaka wako wa 7 katika ndoa, katika maisha, katika miaka maybe you are 70 years tarajia kitu special kutendeka kutoka kwa Mungu. Sema amen. Sema amen mzuri. So what happened? Baada ya miaka 7, maandiko yanasema kwamba alipoanza kuomba Daniel chapter chapter what Daniel chapter three chapter chapter 9 or chapter 10 Bible says verse 2 in the first year of his reign I Daniel understood by books the number of the years whereof the prophet the Jeremiah the prophet the number of the years wherefore the word of the lord came unto jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in desolation of jerusalem if you read in the book of jeremiah chapter 28 before you quote what you like quoting you know you like you only know verse 11 ah verse 11 in asama nini For I know you know you like that the what the plans that I have for you says the Lord plans to do you good but not evil you know hiyo ilikuwa ni neno ya kwa comfort bwana alipoambia kwamba msidanganye na watu na manabii waje kuwatabiria kwamba mwaka huu mtatoka kwa mateka akawaambia mtakaa hapa for 70 what 70 years. Kana sema 70 years Lord. That is too much. Akawaambia yes and don't do while it relax. In fact pray for the government. In fact buy land, buy houses, open business. Don't worry. Why for 
For I know the plans that I have for you. Nina kampango. Kuna wimbo nataka ipite kwanza. Unajua kuna mambo Mungu anakutulizanga maana anakuficha ndio mambo mengine ipite. Sema amen. Hallelujah. Akamwambia, "Nyinyi mutulie tu, mutulie tu, mununue manyumba, mununue magari, muende shule musome." Eh? Just just keep yourself busy. Kuna kuna kampango, kuna kuna deal, sema deal. Kuna deal lazima ingiane. Na itaingiana after how many years? 70 years. Lakini baada ya 70 years, hiyo deal lazima ikiingiana lazima mutoke kwa mateka. Lakini hata mukiomba saa hii na mufunge, amutoke kwa mateka. Mushidangane na mtu. So, Daniel katika kusoma Bible study akapata kumbe we are in the 60 9th year wakaingia 2024 akapata ndio mwaka wa 70 years tangu waingie katika umateka Sema praise god this is our year of what freedom this is our jubilee niliwaambia kuna kitu utendeka after 70 years Somebody say amen. So, he began to pray according to the word of God. He was praying in the will of God. Every time you pray according to the word of God, you are praying in the will of God. Every time you are praying according to the word of God, you are praying in the will of God. And every time you pray in the will of God, God answers your prayers. All the time. I think it's past John chapter, past of, chapter 5. That's when, we, we, when we pray, we know that he hears our prayers. When we, 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 uh, we know that he, when we pray according to his will, we know that he hears our prayers. He hears our prayers. When he hears our prayers, he grants us our desire. One as special. Daniel chapter, I'm not Daniel, a, a what? First letter of John. John. The Bible of Caribbean Revelation. Verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. If we ask, and if we know that he hears us, wherefore we are, whatever we ask, we know that our petitions have been, that we desire, have been granted. So he was praying. According to the will of God. 70 years. And you come out of captivity. Then he says, I learned through books. That our time. To come out of captivity has come. Daniel, where we were. I learned through books. That the word was prophesied. This is a year. So, na mi ndio maana nimekwambia wewe kama mtoto wa redeemed unastahili utarajie pumziko, utarajie uponyaji, utarajie God provision, utarajie eh, eh, kuajiliwa mahali umefungwa. Eh? Kwa sababu neno la Mungu ni la kweli kwamba kila mwaka wa hamsini ni mwaka wa pumziko ni mwaka wa kuachiliwa ni mwaka wa kutosheleshwa mahitaji yako na Mungu amen nasema amen ni mwaka wa uponyaji ni mwaka wa urejesho kile ulipoteza unarejeshewa 
mwaka wa msini, na sisi kama wana wa redeemed we happen to benefit from that scripture amen we happen to be beneficially of that scripture because it is our 50th year so that's why you need not to pray like daniel daniel prayed according to the word of god given to jeremiah by the lord after 70 years mutaachiliwa mutatoka kwa umateka Shetani apende asipende nitawaachilia kwa hivyo na mimi nataka niwaambie kama wana wa redeemed huu ni mwaka wetu wa urejesho sema amen mzuri huu ni mwaka wetu wa kuachiliwa na chochote ambacho kimekufunga Haleluya. Huu ni mwaka wako wa kupumzika. Sana kwa hiyo imeni kidogo. Nasema hii ni mwaka yako ya kupumzika. Mwambie mtu hii ni mwaka wetu wa pumziko. Muangalie mwambie huu ni mwaka wetu wa pumziko. Mwambie tena huu ni mwaka wako wa kurejeshewa. Kile uliibiwa wengine anataka kuambia watu si kwa nini mna wivu unataka aregeshewa hebu munguze kama muongopi mwambie hii ni mwaka yako ya kurejeshewa kile ambacho ulipotesa haleluya mwambie tena hii ni mwaka wako bwana akutane na mahitaji yako yote mwambie miradi yako hii mwaka utakamilisha mwambie hiyo ndoto hii mwaka itatimia Mwambie neema iko ya kutimiza. Haleluya. Glory to God. I say glory to God. I say glory to God. Shout haleluya. Tunaamini kwamba hii ni mwaka wetu wa urejesho, mwaka wetu wa uponyaji, mwaka wetu wa kuachiliwa. Laana zitavunjika, mikosi inavunjika. Mwaka huu laana zinavunjika mikosi inavunjika umateka unavunjika maangano ya mapepo inavunjika mwaka huu kwa jina la Yesu Inua mkono sema amen Inua mkono sema amen mzuri As we are praying and fasting like Daniel to enforce that word that word must come to pass I say that word must come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Lazima tuachiliwe. Lazima tuingie kwa pumziko. Lazima tupone. Lazima Bwana akutane na mahitaji yetu. Mwaka huu lazima turekeshewe ndoa zetu, watoto wetu, mabwana zetu, wake zetu, kazi zetu, whatever we lost is coming back. This year in the mighty name of Jesus. That's why we are praying the fast. So when people pray in the fast, like David, Daniel, God fulfills his word. So, wakati mwingine, ni bisuri, unapo, ona nila mungu alitimi katika maisha yako, maybe buwana alisema tutakopesha, tutakopa, buwana alisema tutakuwa kitu lesio mkia, buwana alisema tutabarikiwa, mjini na mashambani if you don't see that word coming to pass in your life now you can take some time to pray and to fast to enforce that word like Daniel to be fulfilled in your life amen when do we pray and fast because when we pray and fast god sends us help bwana utuma msaada kila wakati watu wakiomba na kufunga Bwana utuma msaada Baada ya Yesu kuomba na kufunga maandiko inasema ya kwamba na Bwana akatuma malaika wakakuja kumtia moyo Glory to God Bwana huyu Bwana anakutumia malaika Nasema 
kwamba Mungu anakutumia malaika. Baada ya Danieli kuomba na kufunga alitumiwa malaika. Haleluya. Baada ya kuomba na kufunga Bwana alimtumia malaika. Bwana alituma Gabriel. Gabriel akachukuliwa na mkuu wa anga wa Persia. Haleluya. Aga, mungu akashangaa nilituma Gabriel. Maana kuna mtu alikuwa anaomba na kufunga. Bona majibu yake haijafika. Akamwambia eh Maiko ambaye ndio sini ya Asha. You are in charge. The angels. Akamwambia hebu na ukaangalie Tuna malaika tulituma kwa nini hajafika? Akaanza kakuta akingangana na mkuu wa anga wa Pasha. Mkuu wa anga wa Pasha hakuwa na uwezo wa kuzulia Michael. Michael akapita kwanza akaleta machibu. Baada kuleta machibu akamwambia sasa nimekuja nikupee machibu lakini sasa ninarudi tena kupambana na mkuu wa anga wa Pasha maana ameshika kabilia yote ambaye ameshikilia baraka zako mwaka huu ataachilia kwa jina la Yesu. Chochote ambacho kimezuilia baraka zako mwaka huu kitaachilia kita kwa jina la Yesu. Milango yote ambayo imefungwa kwa ajili yako hili uzibarikiwe, uzipate msaada. Ninatangaza kwamba mwaka huu hiyo milango itafunguka kwa jina la Yesu. Nasema kwa jina la Yesu Nasema kwa jina la Yesu hiyo milango itafunguliwa katika jina la Yesu kama unaamini ni wa mkono na useme yes sema ndio ni wa mkono na useme ndio tunaamini kwamba maana Mungu wa Danieli ndio Mungu wetu yeyote ambaye amezuilia mtu anaye anaye aliye na msaada wetu mwaka huu ataachilia. Yeyote ambaye amefunga milango kwa ajili yetu mwaka huu hiyo milango itafunguka. Hadi katika la Yesu. Yeyote ambaye ni wa kanisa ambaye amefungwa na shetani katika mji huu ama out of this town tunatangaza lazima achiliwe kwa jina la Yesu. Lazima mkuu wa hanga wa Nakuru, mapepo inayotawala na akuru Lazima wachawi na waganga wote wanaotawala na akuru lazima wakuachilie hubarikiwe na Mungu. Lazima wakuachilie kuingia kwa pumziko. Lazima waachilie walichoiba kutoka kwako. Lazima waachilie watu wote wa ikanisa kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kama unaamini sema ndio. Sima waachilie wana wa kanisa popote ambao amewaachilia maana Michael anaenda anaenda kupambana na hiyo shetani anaenda kupambana na maroho sio ndio maana maandiko yanasema sio kwa nguvu zako sio kwa uweza wako bali ni kwa roho mtakatifu things will happen like you never believe it will happen in your life this year Mambo itatendeka ikuacho umefungua mdomo. Nakwambia andika mahali. Mambo itatendeka mwaka huu katika maisha yako ukatae. Wewe mwenyewe ufanye nini? Ukatae. Mungu acha kunitetea. Mungu nitetee. Maana you can't believe. Amen. Mwaka huu utakuwa unafungua macho unafungua kabisa unajaribu kujisaidia kama Mr Bean kudhibitisha kama ni wewe katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu kwanza ni mwaka wetu wa Bwana na tunaomba na tunaomba tukiwa na neno sema amen sema divine help is coming my way sema again divine help is coming my way Sema msaada wa Mungu unakuja kwangu katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Divine help is coming. Your man is my mission my own because you want divine help. You want God to intervene in our lives. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. What happens? Now, what happens when people pray in the fast? Divine help. Supernatural intervention. Second Chronicles chapter 20. When they prayed and they fast. For three days, the Bible says, Joseph alitangaza maombi ya kuomba na kufunga. Alipotangaza maombi ya kuomba na kufunga na wakaomba. Bwana akaongea. Unapoomba na kufunga kando na Bwana kuingilia katikati, Bwana anaongea. Who's my shepherd? Bwana asifiwe. That's what happens. It happens. Alipoomba akamwambia Bwana niko na majeshi wa falme watano wamekuja kupigana vita na maisha yangu akamwambia alipoomba na kufunga Bwana akaongea akasema kwamba hii vita sasa haitakuwa yako ni vita ni yangu i have taken over verse 17 verse 14 Tunaomba wana, tunaona verse 3 wanaomba na kufunga. Joseph had fear and he set himself to seek the Lord and he proclaimed the fast throughout all Judah for three days. Kila mtu akawa naomba. Ndio maana kama wewe ni mtoto wa ikanisa, haustahili kukaa bila maombi. Everybody is praying. Why are you eating? Everybody is praying. Wote walikuwa naomba watafute msaada does your bible say that first four that they may ask for help from the lord supernatural intervention verse 4 not 14 then when they prayed verse 14 bwana aka intervene akaongea kupitia kwa kijana mmoja roho akakuja juu yake akasema yenye israel sikiseni sauti ya mungu even if you are smart. Musiongope. Kwa sababu ya majeshi yote verse 15. Kwa sababu vita sio zenu sasa. Vita ni za Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu vita sio zenu sasa. Vita ni za Mungu. Kwa hivyo unapoomba na kufunga Una hand over your battles unto God to fight for you. That's why you must pray in the fast. Wakati unapada kitu, ni kitu ikona shida, ni kitu kigumu, inagutisha, umejaribu, umeshindwa, umepigana bita, umeshindwa, kuna njia ingini ya watu wa kiro. Inaitwa njia ya kuomba na kufunga. Una kuomba na kufunga, una mambia buwana take over, God takes over your battles. Na verse 17 na wambia, sasa nime take over e vita. Nini ni kusimama tu? Na kusema asante buwana kwa sababu umesikia maombi yetu. Asante buwana kwa sababu umetenda. Haka wambia ile ni naitaji ni utengeneze kwaya. Ya kuenda mbele za majeshi ikisema asante buwana. Asante buwana maana umesikia. Asante buwana maana umetenda. Asande Bwana maana uko pamoja nasi. Mm, mm. Haleluya. Hii ni mwaka ya kushukuru. Maana Mungu anasikia maombi yetu. Suddenly, maandiko yanasema hivyo. Bwana akaanza akaleta confusion in the camp of the enemy. Wakaanza kupigana wenyewe. That's what will happen to your enemies. Wala wanaungana kinyume na wewe, utasikia wanata kupigana wenyewe. That is the power of prayer and the fasting. It causes your enemies to be confused. Prayer and the fasting confuses your enemies. Hallelujah. All your enemies will be confused. They will be confused. Watu ambao wana staili kukupiga vita, do watakuwa na kuletea report. Na bila wadha wadha kupanyia maofu. 
ndio watakuwa na ku defend watu watakubariki bila kutarajia bila kutaka watu watakuwa nakumbukanga washakubariki when it is too late because these prayers and the fasting are going to confuse your enemies it happened to joseph at it will happen to you say my amen hallelujah bwana akaongea mwambie mtu katika mfungo bwana uongea acts of apostles chapter 13 wakawa katika mount wanaomba 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 maandiko yanasema kwamba roho akashuka tena akasema nitengee paul na barnabas kwa ajili ya kazi ambayo nimewaitia Amen. I pray that you hear the voice of God during this time. Because one word from God can make all the difference in your life. Hallelujah. I will never forget how I came here. Nilikuwa boy. Nimekuwa pale. Nimepewa shida mara nyingi. Napewa allowance ya miangapi? 4 Friday sasa jameni si hata ningesema ni wakati wangu sasa wa kwa kukula sasa amen that time kanisa bali kwa hiyo ikalipia pasta nyumba that time kwa neema ya Mungu nimeinua tumenunua plot that time 1997 tumenunua plot the 1 million mozo na Kenya railway waneka 1 million kanisa inatoa saa hii 150 na 50 stage hiyo ni pesa nyingi sana bwana anasema nini nakuja hapa nikikaa hapa kidogo naambiwa niende niende kisumu nikiwa pale kisumu sasa nime nimeingia tena nimekufanya kazi kwa na bishop mmoja pale wetu sasa nina ananiambia hey naitwa naitwa na hata siku anaitwa pastor ni brother mtu wa sahimu sijakuwa pastor sasa nimeonelea kazi yako ni mzuri sasa hivi niko kapenguria nafanya crusade nimeongea na soende so akutafutie nyumba na tumekuweka kwa payroll sasa saa hiyo nikiwa kapenguria nasikia simu bishop ayo mtua tunakutaje na kuru alikuwa ni Mungu unipende imagine haleluya sasa ninakataa ninakataa roho inaniambia lakini si Mungu alikuita na kuru kwenda sasa kama una yangu ni bahati liniangukia sio bahati that is how i managed to be here that is how i could have missed to be a bishop ningekuwa voice ningekuwa bishop ningekuwa na kisumu ningekuwa bishop mwambie mtu jifundishe kusikiza sauti ya Mungu sometimes it makes no sense but when you follow it will make sense bwana asifiwe ndio maana mimi nakuanga niko na uhakika 100% i know god has got me here hata muende nyote Mungu atadada wengine kwa sababu aliniita kuwa pastor kwa hii kanisa niko na neno kama Jeremia after 70 years umateka unavunjika amen glory to god when god speaks everything obeys miti na ti bahari na ti watu wana ti sababu ameongea 
Glory to God. So, when God spoke, when they were praying the fasting, na dio mana ni nasema ni naomba usikie sauti ya Mungu. Maana hii ndio wakati wakati watu wanaomba ndio usikie sauti ya Mungu. You need to have a paper and a pen when you are praying because some of you will hear some direction from God. Bwana akizungumza na maisha yako ti na ufuatilie. Bwana Yesu asikwe sana. Ifungie mkono kama bado tuko pamoja. Now, chapter 13, Abu Abu Chin, something else that happens when you pray in the fast. God breaks the power of Satan. God, prayer and the fasting break the resistance of the enemy. It breaks the resistance of the devil. Walipo toka pale, wakakutana na mutu alia itua, alia kuwa mchawi. Ana itua, by Jesus. Which verse? Go over chin. Sayo wameenda kubiria deputy me, governor. Nae, huyu anachua, watu wakichua deputy governor meokoka. Wale watu walikuwa na tharao wakofu. Wadaanda kwa minu wakofu. Amen. Tunawana wakati watu, wakati raisi wetu wamekua ni mtu wameokoka. Unakuta hata wale wakokaribu na hea, hata wale wanakunga pombe. Wanangojia bada mkutano, hindi wananda kutafuta pombe. Na wengine ambao likuwa ni walebi wakaacha. How can you drink? Kukubako kama akuni. Haifanyi kasi. Diyo maana siku za gitambo, wewe kama ni maazkari, wangavana, ama kiongozi, na ameuliwa, you are not supposed to remain alive. Hello. Wote walikuwa wanaangukia nini? Mkuki. Utasema raisi, utasema mkuki alikufa ukiwa wapi? Hiyo kesi ndio utaifanyia wapi? Afadhali ukupe mapema. You can't. Soma Biblia. Walikuwa wanaangukia mkuki wanakufa. Because mkuki akikufa unasaidi kukufa. Nimulizike mafarao alikuwa anazikwa na watu. Man, even when you are dead, you are still a king. <laughs> so, wakaongopa, huyu mtu ataokoka. Huyu, ma, huyu mtu wakaongopa. Akaanza, Philip, what, what is the name? They talk about the, uh, the mkapa wa mali alianza kumubiria. Yes. Who was an attendant of the prosco, such as Paulus? The the broker Saul, an intelligent man, sent for Barnabas and the Saul because he wanted to hear the word of God. But Elimas, the sorcerer, for that is what his name, opposed them and they tried to turn the broker Saul from the faith. Uh, verse 9. Then Paul, who was also, Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked straight at Elimas and said unto him, verse 10, I child of the devil, an enemy of everything that is right. You are full of all kinds of deceit and trickery. Will you never stop perverting the right ways of the Lord? Now, the hand of the Lord is against you. You are going to be blind, and for a time, you will be unable to see the light of the sun immediately. Somebody say immediately. Mist and darkness covered him and engrossed about. Seeking someone to lead him by the end. Prayer and the fasting subdues the powers of darkness. 
it breaks the powers of darkness. It destroys the powers of darkness. It breaks the resistance of the powers of darkness. Kuna watu wengine hapa mjabarikiwa, maana wengine mlifungwa na mapepo, mlifungwa na uchawi na uganga. Wengine ni vitu mlikula, mlipewa. Wengine ni maankano mlifanya na watu. Hii ni wakati wako wa kuachiliwa. Don't be left out. Hata kama uwezi siku 21, jaribu siku 3. Hallelujah. Nasema hallelujah. Kama uwezi kabisa jaribu hata siku moja angalau. Siku moja tu at least. But I encourage all of you to pray in the past. But if it's not possible for you kuomba na kufunga siku zote, tafadhali jaribu tu kidogo. Mwambie mtu jaribu tu kidogo. Jaribu tu. Eh, hey, jaribu tu. Hii January inaisha. Hii January itaisha mkisema ati kiwango ya maisha yamepanda. Nini nini mkiongopa eh, nini itapandishwa mafuta? Mkakaa tu kidogo kidogo usikie January imeisha. Watu wamepata breakthrough. Watu wamebarikiwa, milango imefunguka, wamepata mwelekeo. Sauti ya Mungu wewe unakula tu. Na unajua atakula mpaka December. Usikubali tumbo. Sema wewe tumbo. Ama mnaongopa ni nawafanya kama watoto. Sema weka mkono sema wewe tumbo. Usijaribu kunizuilia baraka zangu. Sema ninakunyamazisha. Tumbo. Quiet. Sema nyamaza. Niombe nitafute uso wa Bwana. Na mwisho la mjo tuombe. Leo alikuwa ni kuatia moyo kwa katika maombi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. What a prayer and the fasting does. What happens? Wakati eh Esther aliomba it overturned the plans of the enemy. Somebody say amen. What happened when Joseph had prayed and the fasted? God took over his battles. What happened when Daniel prayed and fasted and Jesus prayed and fasted? God sent them angels, divine help to intervene help them. What happens when uh, uh, Paul, and the, and Paul and his team prayed and fasted? Bwana alifunja pingamizi za nguvu za ngizi katika jina la Yesu. Na ya mwisho tunaona mfano wa uh, mfano wa wa Jona alipoomba na kufunga alipoomba na kufunga what happened samaki ndio mfungu kwa memeza si ama ujui jona aliomba na kufunga by force alikuwa ni mtu wa kupenda chakula chapati mtu wa tumbo ndio maana akusikia sauti ya Mungu Mungu amesema aenda wapi ni never na yanaenda wapi tashish Mungu akajua wewe ninajua ndawa yako ndawa yako najua ni kukuweka mahali ambapo hautakutana na chakula Mungu don't don't provoke God akuingakufikisha hapo. Eh? Akatuma samaki kamumeza, akaomba na kufunga by force, by fire. Three days. Kuna mambo mengine Mungu analetanga tu katika maisha yako, ndio akusaidie. Akufanya nini? Akusaidie kuomba na kufunga. Ndio akusaidie. Siku ya tatu ya kufungua jamaa akatemwa nje akaamuka na maasira zake huyo mtu alikuwa mbali sana yani mtu amekaa chini ya dani tumbo ya samaki siku tatu na hapo ndio unazeni kutubu dhambi zote maana ujui sasa ni kama mambo yako imekwisha the next thing ni kujipata ida kwa kifua ya Abraham ama Jenam Amen. Lakini baada ya kutoka pale, adibaba anachukia watu wa Nineva. Ana baba na anaenda kuambia 40 days. Lakini anawaambia nyinyi vichwa mgumu. Kwa shetani mapepo. 40 days. Ukataa kutubu muone vile mtachomwa na Mungu. Kwa hiyo 
lakini Mungu maandiko yanasema kwamba after 40 days maombi ya mwenye dhambi 40 days Usije say prayer and fasting 40 days mwenye dhambi Mungu katika maombi yao akaondoa hukumu because prayer and the fasting about the judgment of God you cannot you cannot you cannot uh, divine god with one scripture nasikia mtu akisema ati oh eh uh, ati wengine mnaenda mnatenda dhambi na mnakuja mnaomba na kufunga ndo Mungu awasamee Mungu aweza kasema it happened mimi ni mubiri wa watu wote wala wamekoka jana waliokoka kitambo wa ubiri watu wa kawaida wala wanaanguka anguka wakisimama wala wamesimama mimi ni pastor wao wote sema amen kwa sababu kudanganya asikudanganye maombi ya kuomba na kufunga inalazimisha Mungu kuingilia katikati mambo yako na nimekuonyesha kwa maandiko si nimekuonyesha umeiona vizuri amen haleluya hao walipotenda dhambi wakaambiwa hii dhambi yenu mtasamehewa kwa kufunga hiyo sio kutubu tu mufanye nini muombe na mutubu siku ngapi tatu baada ya siku tatu bwana akawasamehe amen glory to god hata kama umefungwa kwa sababu ya dhambi za wazazi na na mababu na nini believe god hata kama ni dhambi ujui walitenda believe god as you pray in the fast sababu yoyote ya shetani ya kuendelea kukufunga inatamatishwa katika jina la Yesu Amen. Believe God. Pray by faith. Believe God. Believe God. Believe God. Simama kwa mguu yako. Believe God. Believe God. We are believing God. We are not just praying the fasting. Ata tunakaa, tunakula miao, tunasikia sui what, tunaangalia chapati, tunaomba Mungu, tunaona Mungu ametutesa. Mungu atutesi. Sio Mungu amesema tuomba na kufunga. It is because you want God's intervention in our lives. Say my man. It is because you want God to intervene. Tunataka Mungu avunje kila pingamizi ya nguvu za nkiza katika maisha yetu. Tunataka Bwana aweze kutuachilia mali tumefunga. Kama ni dhambi ya wazazi, ya mababu tulifanya Tunamwambia Bwana tunajinyima hii chakula ili Bwana utuhurumie. Maana kuomba na kufunga ni kutafuta huruma za Bwana. I know God will hear our prayers. The Bible says this. Niangalie maandiko ninapomaliza. I think it's Psalms 51. See the Psalms 51. Yes, I think Psalms 51. See the verse 17 ama 24. Anasema for a contrite and a heart and a broken spirit lord you will not despise you will not despise yes verse 17 nasema the sacrifice of god are a broken spirit and a broken and a contrite heart oh god you will not despise you will not despise when you pray in the fast that is a sacrifice you are breaking before god you are telling god i know i am wrong but i plead for mercy father i know that i'm supposed to be judged but i plead for mercy father i have tried but i've failed i pray for your intervention father how long will these powers of darkness control my life let every power of darkness control in my life break when you pray that prayer god we love mercy upon you know me gonna go you take one minute and then speak to god speak to god ni vita nimekuonesha mfano joseph alishinda majeshi kwa inji tano kwa sababu ya maombi ya kuomba na kufunga ni esther kile kilikuwa kimeandikwa na kimepitishwa 
kinyume na, na, na Esther na watu wao kilibadilishwa na maombi ya kufunga na kuomba yes God's judgment over Nineveh was averted because of prayer and the fasting Paul was able to hear the voice of God because of prayer and the fasting Cornelius was able to hear the voice of God because of prayer and the fasting you will hear the voice of God and all the plans of the devil the plans of the enemy concerning your life will be averted will be overturned in Jesus name all the plans of the enemy will be averted wale wote ambao wanapigana na maisha yako kupitia kwa hii maombi watashindwa watatawanyika wataibika katika jina la Yesu kila pingamizi ya shetani ya nguvu za ngiza kinyume na maisha yako itavunjika you in this prayer and the fasting it is breaking 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 all your enemies they are being scattered they are being scattered they are being scattered as you pray and they fast all your enemies they are being scattered they are being scattered they are being scattered god is scattering all your enemies god is fighting all your enemies god is destroying all your enemies god is bringing down all your enemies you break through the bible says in the book of Isaiah 58 when you pray in the fast then your healing shall suddenly come your healing shall suddenly come and god will give you breakthrough 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 is coming your way through these prayers devil has stood against you will not stand again whatever has opposed you for these years we will not survive these prayers in the mighty name of Jesus every witch and every wizard every devil worshiper and devil agent every illuminat every freemason that has stood against you we will not stand they will not prevail through these prayers they will not survive they will not survive they will not survive through these prayers through these prayers through these prayers they will not survive in the mighty name of Jesus they are going to perish 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 na watu wasiondoka wasipoondoka katika njia zako mwaka huu utasikia wameenda if they don't listen to the to their heart and let you go get out of your way stop frustrating you if they don't stop attacking you this year hawata maliza utasikia wameenda wasaidie tu waache kukupinga ninao mgonjwa ni kuombea sasa baba katika jina la Yesu ninaomba kwa sababu ya watu wako i pray for them oh god you are the same yesterday you are the same today and you are the same forever god of daniel you heard his prayers father and you sent angels to come and confirm your word to bring him help i pray that you send your angels father in the name of jesus to come and help these people come out of tragedies calamities tragedies send your angels to come and help them do business help them get job come and help them get married come and restore their marriages send your angels father i pray
to connect them with their destinies in the name of the Lord. Father, you intervene in the case of Joseph and you fought against his enemies. You caused confusion in the midst of his enemies. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, intervene in the case of these people and cause confusion in the camp of the enemies. I pray that you cause confusion in the camp of the enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you take over all our battles, battles in marriage, battles in our place of work, battles in our business, all the battles coming from our enemies. Father, I pray that you take over in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh yes, my God, how I pray. As you intervened in the case of Esther, and the Father, you overturned, you cancelled whatever has been passed against them. I pray that whatever has been passed, written, declared against your people, through these prayers, will be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. All the limitations of the enemy be cancelled in their lives. In the mighty name of the Lord, every opposition or the work of darkness against these people, Father, be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every opposition be broken in their business, in their jobs, in their families, in their place of work. Break in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the blood of Jesus. Every curse, every spell controlling these people. Father, in the name of Jesus. Break by the power of the blood of Jesus. I annul out, annul, and I break every covenant with the devil, every covenant with the witches and the wizards, every covenant with the devil worshippers and devil agents, with the Illuminati and the Freemasons, every covenant with the sorcerers, with the witches and the wizards, false prophets, every covenant, Father, against these people, by the power of the blood of Jesus, be broken today, be broken today. Be broken today. I break the covenant with the poverty. I break the covenant with the death. I break the covenant with the sickness. I break the covenant with the failure. I break the covenant with the poverty. By the power of the blood of Jesus. Break in their lives. I break every covenant. I break every covenant that has bound these people. Break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. Every covenant binding you. Break. Break by the blood of Jesus. I set you free. Lift up your hands and receive your freedom. Lift your hands and receive help from God. Supernatural intervention from God. Receive from God. Receive from God. Supernatural intervention. Receive help from God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your God is the God of Joseph. Receive help from God. Receive help from God. All your enemies be defeated. All your enemies be destroyed. Like in the curse of Joseph. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God sent you stronger angels. Stronger people. We are the people. Rich people. Important people. Learned people. People that are known. People with the favor, God send them to help you. God send them to help you this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every opposition against your life, your breakthrough, your future, your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Break! By the power of the blood of Jesus. I break the opposition of the powers of darkness against your life. I open every door that is closed before you. This year, you will enter through open doors in the name of Jesus. This year, you will be blessed in the name of Jesus. This year, your life will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus, cancer die. High blood pressure die. Diabetes die, asthma die, HIV die, barrenness break. Command tumors in your body to die. 
you must die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. I command whatever has been planted by the devil in your body to be uprooted now. Be destroyed in Jesus' name. Lift your hand before God. Rimba raba karaba kashata laba raba. Rimba laba raba kashata laba raba kuri na mashiki ni dibusi. Kuna mama kuna akona umekuwa na shida siwi ni tumor sama ni nini katika tumbo yako upande ya ya barabara ni upande ya barabara. God is removing that thing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God is removing that thing in the name of Jesus. I command that thing whether it is tumor or by blood be uprooted right now i destroy it by the fire of god i destroy it by the fire of god i destroy it by the fire of god die the mighty name of jesus the mighty name of jesus father I give you praise everybody lift your hand before god and thank god for your breakthrough thank god for the intervention thank god for helping you thank god for fighting your battles Thank God for giving you breakthrough. Thank God for forgiving you of your sins and the sins of your parents that have been standing on your way. Whatever it is, just thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for his word. It will come to pass in your life. This will be your year of jubilee. Your year of restoration. Your year of healing. Your year of freedom. It will be your year of provision. It will be a year of rest in the name of Jesus. Great grace will be upon your life. Things will happen to you until you look like a dream in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will never be the same again this year. Your testimony will change. Your story will change this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will give you another name. God will give you another name, a better name. You will laugh with those who laughed at you. At you. In the mighty name of Jesus, who will laugh with them? In the mighty name of Jesus, people will give a testimony on your behalf that God has visited you, and that God has blessed you here. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever and whoever stood against you this year, they will be removed. They will be swept away by God. They will not stand. They will not survive this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, your breakthrough has come. Your victory has come. Your breakthrough has come. Your victory has come in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the acceptable year of the Lord for you to be promoted, for you to get job, for you to prosper, for you to buy that land, for you to build that house, for you to get married, for you to walk in divine health. I declare today in the mighty name of Jesus, this is the acceptable year of the Lord for you to enjoy, to have peace, to have rest and to be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that, clap your hands to Jesus. I say, clap your hands to Jesus. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Amen. I want to you take your seats in the name of Jesus. I want us to get ready to worship God with our substances. I want you to get into your pocket. Somebody give me a handful of. kama unahitaji kutoa fungu la 10 kama mimi naomba uingie kwa mfuko yako unataka kuchoa kuchukue baasha uweke pale na usimame kuja hapa nipokee katika jina la Yesu huu ni mwaka wetu kwa baraka we must do everything that we can and we know to tap the blessing and uh, one of the way that we tap the blessings of God is through tithing and through giving. It is the God's channel to bless us. Kwa hivyo kama una fungu la 10 unatoa na simu ama unatoa 
cash kwa pale nyumbani pia wewe ni wakati wa kutoa the time to give kuyaba wa numbers lipa na mpesa number is there there is still number there is pay bill number so there's go pale you choose which one to use hallelujah ni mimi nimebarikiwa peke yangu ama kuna mtu mwingine amebarikiwa ajua si lazima ni wangoje natakuwa ni mimi Mungu alinitembelea you never know amen naweza kuwa ni mimi tu Mungu alinitembelea na wale ambao tulisema uweze kuchukua eh baasa uandike mahitaji yako yote pale na uweke sandaka ya kuweza uweza kutia nguvu hiyo maombi yako iweke hapa katika jina la Yesu amen ningeweka chini kwa mzee hiyo ni kwa kwa naweka ndio isikuwa changazi yes amen fungu la kumi, msembe hapa wale wanatoa ile nyingine weka hapa chini ile iko na mahitaji tusichanganye haleluya amen amen ah, mungu amebariki watu sana eh nashukuru mungu unajua nikiwaona hivi mimi sioni ile mnatoa ninaona mungu amewabariki haya tuinue hiyo fungu la kumi. kama umetoa na simu inua hiyo simu pale nyumbani sema bwana ni asante kwa kunibariki na sasa kwa zile baraka ambazo umenipatia nimekuletea sehemu yako ya kumi bwana ipoke na unibariki maana wewe ni Mungu ambaye uweka maangano fungua madirisha yote ya mbinguni nibarikiwe baka nikose mahali pa kuweka baraka kemea mwaribifu asiharibu kazi ya mikono yangu kazi yangu mali yangu ili bwana nibarikiwe mpaka watu waniite ubarikiwa wa bwana kwa jina la Yesu amen sasa tutoe sandaka zetu kila mtu atoe sandaka kama uko na nini unaweza kuitupa pale tutoe sandaka zetu sasa toa hiyo sandaka inue juu inue hiyo sandaka yako juu katika jina la Yesu inue juu kila mtu asimame kwa miguu yake na sandaka na sandaka na sandaka na sandaka yake inue hiyo sandaka juu mbele za Bwana sema Bwana wewe ni Mungu ambaye uweka maangano ulisema kiwango ambacho ninakupimia ndicho kitanirudia kama kimesindiliwa kimesukasukwa na kinamwagika na sasa ninapotoa sandi ninaamini hii kiwango nimekupimia kitanirudia kupitia kwa mikono ya watu kama kimesindiliwa kimesukasukwa na kinamwagika kwa jina la Yesu sema amen haya tutembee zote hapa tuweze kutoa